Looks like we're all good now. Looks like we're all good. Let's go ahead and start round two for Pokemon Stadium 2, everybody. Sorry for all the technical difficulties there. I didn't seem to want to record. But anyway, let me re-explain this for the YouTube audience. Round two in Stadium 2 is once you beat everything in round one, the game gets super hard. All the trainers have different Pokemon. They're much stronger. And like before, we're using only rentals because this is the Switch Online version. You, you only can use rentals. You can switch it at this screen here with right C button. Go round two. And we're going to absolutely get bodied by just about everything in this game because round two is infamously unfair. And this is the only way we can play it, so... Look forward to 100 episodes of me losing to Faulkner and Bugsy, I guess. Let's do it. The ditto looks weird. Yeah, the one on the main menu does. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and try out this. Old Pokedex is set. Okay, good. So, it looks like the recommended Pokemon for this are a lot of electric types. And also Golem. Hang on. Yeah, we need to use it for its defense against some Pokemon. It also walls Faulkner's Zapdos. I don't think it matters what items we give it. Maybe the berry. Or if it uses, like, Mud Slap or something. I don't know. It's not going to be getting hit by a special move here, I would say. Okay, let's go for this. Magneton can't do anything if uh, Gligar comes out. This Faulkner's going to have Gligar just to completely wall electric moves. Hang on. What other coverage does Electabuzz have? Because that's another one. It could do light screen, but... Oh, yeah, it's also fast. That's why we want it. Let's just go ahead and take it. I don't think the berries matter. Like, at all. No Jolteon. No Jolteon. We need Jinx, apparently. Yeah, we want Jinx for Ice Punch. Jinx lost Psychic for Confusion because Smoochum exists now, and the rental Pokemon pre-evolutions have to have better moves. Take this. And we want Zapdos for its wonderful ability to spam Thunder and Prey. However, Detect and Rock Smash, not exactly that great. Apparently the six Pokemon doesn't matter at all, but the big thing we need here... Yeah, this is strangely recommended. Over Lantern, because Rain Dance and Thunder. You need to set this up, or Faulkner is just going to absolutely destroy you. And I guess we also have Surf for uh, taking care of Gligar and Charizard, maybe? This will do that. Since it doesn't matter, let's take an emotional support bear. We can even have a little treat. Let's do it. Thank you, Fumufu, for the reset there. We're all good to go. Have you ever dreamed of flying? As we've learned, you can't, for round two, you cannot just pick random rentals and hope it works out. Okay, for the first battle, it looks like we want to do... Yeah, it's safe to do the Rain Dance combo, I would say, for sure. Mm. We need Golem for the next battle. At the end of the day, though, even with the best possible Pokemon, especially for round two, it's an RNG fest. You just have to pray. You just have to hope you get it. Oops, sorry, am I peeking the microphone? Still dealing with new microphone settings, so I'm worried that, uh, I sound weird. I feel like the compressor last time was ma making me peek a little too much. Do it. Okay, we're gonna go for the rain dance and then spam thunder. Or rather, we're sacrificing this thing so the other Pokemon can safely spam thunder. What will the other side do? I've sounded somewhat quieter than getting a new computer. That was the, um, compressor, actually. I turned that off. I used it for a couple streams, and I felt like it was making me too quiet. I sound louder now, probably because I turned it off, yeah. Ooh, good RNG to start. I can't believe... Oh, oh yeah, uh, of course it has that. Oh my... Rain continues to fall. A hot battle is unfolding. I'm outspeeding you. Here it comes, thunder! It's so funny that this this little fella is so good here. Nice. Oh, and down it goes. 
His gimmick is mirror move, yeah. I don't have his, his like, held items pulled up. I probably should, but... Excellent. Excellent. Hold up. A little closer to the mic. I sound louder, I sound quieter. I guess even chat disagrees how I sound. I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah, the Togetic has Mirror Move, Psychic, Fire Blast, and Zap Cannon. There's a fight going down in chat. Okay, we still have a Rain Dance active, so let's use Zapdos. Let's do it. Rain continues to fall. As we all know, Rain makes Thunder's accuracy 100. Ouch. More variants in the volume, you would say. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think I sound a little bit more clear, so it's alright. We can leave it as is. But it's mostly because I had to reset everything from scratch on the new PC, right? Okay, so now we can just spam Thunder and we should kill it. Definitely more clear. That's good. I'm not a tech person at all, so I always worry if stuff sounds good when I'm setting up things. Oh, come on. Do this. We can do this. What now? How many of these will I miss? I just need to hit one, right? <sighs> two thunder misses. Rain ends, immediately misses. Yeah. I got two HP in a dream. A, th a dream with 70% accuracy. Enough to kill? Yes, it is. Okay. Nice. Now this is the one where things get funky. You raised your Pokemon better than I did mine. So, Faulkner is likely to always start with Zapdos. There's no continue system in the Gym Leader Castle, so it doesn't matter if Pokemon die along the way. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. He's got Pidgeot, Dodrio. The Dodrio is Pack and Tri Attack, uh, Drill Peck, and Sky Attack for some reason. Like, they have so much coverage, it's not even funny. And I'm dealing with rental Pokemon. Teddy is here for emotional support, don't worry. The bear is here to cheer in the background. He doesn't actually need to be picked. So the main thing, yeah, is we want to start with the Golem, specifically to counter Zapdos. It's not 100% Zapdos comes out first, but we can obviously wall his Thunderbolt. But it also has Mud Slap, so we just have to deal with that, unfortunately. Jinx has Ice Punch, which, yeah, we want to use uh, Jinx for Gligar, mainly, and backup plan for some of the other Mons. And we do need to use the... The Chin Show for, like, Charizard. I guess, yeah, we do need to set up Rain Dance. It is a surprising little tank, even though it's not evolved, right? Okay, let's try this. The first gym leader is Faulkner. The flying type Pokemon Emotional support, Teddy. What strategy will the challenger Wild Pokemon theme, him? let's go. Yep, here it is. There's just so many things you just have to know about these battles, because the the enemy is basically cheating. Like, that's okay. already been pretty much confirmed a thousand times. They know the RNG the when they move. select the move. That easily. Well, Accuracy is down. and now we hope this works. A sharp attack. That struck home. Okay. The white -hot battle Can't afford to switch out, so we just have to hope this works. What will it do? Ah, that attack just bounced off. The target stats must Come on. be Vicious attack. Bam, that worked perfectly. 
Just one more. It can't do anything to me. But Mud Slap. So the trade-off is we have to deal with the accuracy drop. The target is weakened further. Okay, I missed. Uh, Golem is the only thing... Sorry, yeah, for Zapdos, we only use Golem and only Golem, so... If I switch... It's gonna... I need... Yeah, I need to keep the other two alive for the rest of the battle. What? Really? Okay, then. He's doing this. We got plenty of turns. We can do this. I just gotta hit one more. Got my berry. I'm pretty sure Sky Attack is only available through Gen 1 TM. Or do they learn it by level up? It's one more. Okay, we got him. One of his scariest Pokemon has been taken down. What a psychotic standoff. We're basically throwing Golem to the wolves here. We're gonna miss Earthquake, of course. I'm alive. Please hit this rock throw. Please hit this rock throw. Ah. One Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. Hang on, Earthquake! Earthquake is not very good for my little electric fish, so we're just gonna have to go right for the surf. I'm at like minus five accuracy, so that wasn't happening. Ah, oh, come on. Chin Chow. That's how the announcer says it. I got better moves than Lantern. That's why I picked this one. Yep. Come on. Please don't kill. I'm a tank. I'm a mini tank. I'm a baby tank. This better kill. On. Ugh, not enough. Man. If I would have known he had Charizard on backup, I would have switched out Golem to preserve its accuracy for this. And now we've pretty much lost. Dang. So, let's make a mental note here. We know that after five Mud Slaps, Zapdos goes for Sky Attack, so that might be a free turn to switch. Well, I guess we'll go for Ice Punch. Maybe I'll speed it, outspeed it and get... No. Live, damn you, live. Come on. Come on, man. It's Charizard outspeeding everything now. Critical hit, too. Not that it mattered. Oh, you're a meanie. And there goes the battle. Charizard pack an earthquake and EVs. Of course we got obliterated. Do 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 do. You did pretty well too. I don't need your compliments. Back in again. Nothing in the world can match the beauty of bird Pokemon. If I would have hit one of those rock throws with Golem, that Charizard would have been done. Okay, now what did I do for this one? Right, we do the Rain Dance setup. Electabuzz on emergency backup. We bring you this battle live from the Gym Leader Castle. It's ironic that I picked Jinx for um. Hang on a second, Chad. I missed it. What was Faulkner's third Pokemon? I didn't see what the thing said during the fanfare. Did he actually have Gligar, or was it something else? It was Dodrio? Dude. 
That Dodrio is a menace. Even after everything, too, Dodrio can just hit me with a try attack and, um... They're ready to go. Pretty much just hit me with a status move. This is the biggest thing about Faulkner. Oh, what? Okay. Uh -oh, it started raining heavily. The biggest thing about Faulkner is that you have to use the Golem to get past his uh, Zapdos, which is basically like gatekeeping the real fight. And it's all up to RNG which two Pokemon he picks, and if you pick the better ones. Round two is not about winning, it's a journey about to re uninstalling the game. Come on. It ain't that bad. No, it is that bad. The white hot battle continues. Like, is it safe to say that round two with rentals only is probably one of the hardest, Here like, comes. official Pokemon experiences ever? That's what I hear. Oh, oh, if I lose We're all the time, that just means more content for you guys, right? Oh, it's Murkrow. Nice. It's certainly up there. Get him with this. Our crow is out speeding. The that was a glancing blow. Go, little baby, go. Wow. I know that. Hang on a second. You know what I need to do? You know what I, need? I just realized? If it comes down to Chincho and Charizard, instead of Surf, I need to go for the Raw Thunder and hope that I paralyze it or something. Which is really stupid, but... We know that Surf can't kill it unless it's like a crit. Rain continues to fall. I think the most important thing for the gym leader fights, though, is knowing the setup to kind of sweep them. Like, this right here is very good. Now we can go right back to Faulkner and try again. Excellent. I got it perfect this time, too. Nothing that mattered. Still gonna continue living with these guys. That's what I'm here to do, right, chat? I'm not here to use save states. I'm here to show you how stupidly unfair it is. So you don't have to play it. I'm Faulkner. I'm gonna be the toughest bird master ever. When I get to Team Rocket round two, I'm probably gonna cry. Yeah, I should hydrate before this, you right. Actually, yeah, maybe I should take in Wobbuffet. Um, the problem is a lot of a lot of Pokemon here, they have both physical and special, so they can switch it up, predict the counters. Maybe I should get rid of the Teddy, but saying such a thing is, like, horrible on this stream. Why would we get rid of Teddy? Look, look at the little bear. So cute. Anyways, I know we need to start with Golem, because Zapdos pretty much always comes out first. And if it doesn't come out first, it throws the whole wrench in the plan. I think Wobbuffet is on the list for Bugsy in round two, so... Hmm, pardon me. Hold back cough there. Okay, so last time we went Golem, the Lanternfish, and whatever the hell Jinx is. Problem was, the second Pokemon was Charizard... And then there was Dodrio. See, this is the problem. I have If I pick Jinx for Gligar, I'm covered for Gligar, right? But if it's Dodrio or something instead, it will absolutely slaughter Jinx. But if I take something like Zapdos or Electabuzz for Dodrio, then uh, what if Gligar comes out? Then I literally can't even hit it. Oh. You know what I need to do? I need to worry about using Surf on Gligar. I need to assume that Chincho here can can take care of Gligar, and I think instead of Jinx, I should take an Electric type. You have to do a lot of guessing with Wobbuffet, yeah. <sighs> That's the problem. See, Ice Punch is good in theory. The problem is that, um, Charizard has Fire to cover her, and she has terrible physical defense, which most of the team can deal with her. I don't think I should take Jinx in, after all. Electabuzz is fast, though. How much faster is he than... Hang on. Let's see, speed, 131. 
Okay, Electabuzz is much faster than there. 21. Electabuzz is good. Would it outspeed Dodrio? Probably. But a raw Thunder Punch probably wouldn't kill it. Then we gotta worry about the, um... Then we gotta worry about the Tri-Attack RNG. Okay, I'm gonna take Golem. Probably outspeed Charizard as well. I'm gonna take Golem. In show, and I'm gonna try Buzz this time. If we gotta restart, we gotta restart. The first gym leader is Faulkner. Let's do it. The flying type Pokemon user from Violet Gym. What strategy? Everybody pray for Mudslap RNG. Be on my side. If you have a pet or a plushie, hold them up to the screen and send me the positive vibes. Or else. Mud slap. Here's the first move. It appears the Teddy in the background is cheering Teddy. for me. Accuracy is down. He's on the team. A sharp attack. No. Oh, missed one. Okay, let's count the mud slaps. At five mud slaps, I'm pretty sure he goes for sky attack. Okay, let's go rock throw. I could also potentially save Golem for the Charizard if he has it. What next? Ah, that Honestly, you know what? Golem walls so much of this team, maybe I should try and take Rhydon as a second. You see... Our cargo doesn't work because it takes times more damage to Mud Slap. You check Graveler's moves, but there's not a lot of... Wait, wait! What about Ancient Power on Aerodactyl? What if I could set up and get the Ancient Power boost with it? They're both hanging tough. That might work. If I lose, that is. What'll it do? It appears to be impervious to damage. Okay. The is this the fourth one? Must be in A furious attack. Oh, <sighs> that missed too. Okay, here comes number five then. There's the attack. Ah, now, can I hit you? The One more, further. maybe a crit? How about that? Is he gonna change strats now that he's like this? <sighs> this could blow up in my face if I'm wrong. Aerodactyl would be at risk of thunder. I mean, Aerodactyl is a backup plan. Aerodactyl could be good for taking out Charizard. Resist Flamethrower, can't be hit by Earthquake. Each other warily. I'm gonna take the chance. I want to see it. I need to make sure if after five mud slaps, he always he always sky attacks. Here comes a Pokemon. Oh boy. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna eat crap here. Yep, I called it. I feel big brain. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to Golem. I'm Sky Attack. Now my Barry activates. It stops doing Mud Slap because the accuracy drop doesn't happen anymore, so it just goes for Raw Stab. So now my accuracy's reset. The problem is I'm pretty sure my health is low enough because I missed too much already. So Charizard can finish me off even if it comes out next. <sighs> yeah. They're both hanging tough. Let's go. It's building up power for its next attack. Return. A sharp attack. Okay, first one's down. Now the million dollar question is, what's on the real team? Skarmory. Great. Hmm. Skarmory wouldn't have any... Do you think it's... What do you guys think? Do you think if I send out Chincho, I could go for Rain Dance setup? I feel like I could, because Skarmory is not going to have anything... Anything Skarmory can do, Chincho can resist. Should be able to have that free turn. 
For now, I guess I'll just press Rock Throw while we watch what he does. He's gonna go for- yeah, Steel Wing, of course. Oh, it whiffed! Good old Steel Wing. This is good. I may have just softened him up into kill range for Chincho once we rain dance. <laughs> this is Steel Wing. I'm the one who's mud slapped, by the way. This is a little disgusting. What's Steel Wing's accuracy again? Not good is the answer. Oh, he finally hit me. It's like 90. Damn. Okay, fantastic. So, it's best we set up for Rain rain Dance and Thunder, because we need to kill whatever comes out after him, for sure. I should have the turn to set it up. I'm just worried about that taking damage and being put into kill range. Let's do it. Got little corn seeds. Go for the Rain Dance. What will it do? It of course. It, it had Mud Slap after all. I'm surprised it wasn't going for it. Well then. Uh -oh, it started raining heavily. Now, here's a quick question, actually. Does, does Rain make Thunder always hit, or does it make it base 100 accuracy? Because that would mean the Mud Slap would come into play. I don't actually know the answer to that now that I think about it. Uh-oh. I think it's always hit. It skips the accuracy check. Okay, thanks. Basically becomes swift. This is good, then. He's wasting his turns. I absolutely made the right call by going for going for Rain Dance. Okay, whoever he's got left, as long as it's not Gliger. Please don't be Gliger. Like, a buzz can't do anything. It's Charizard. Okay, it's best to go for Thunder because I'm I'm at hit by two mud slaps, so Surf can miss. Thunder cannot. Come on! Oh, I'm not gonna live this, am I? Oh! 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 Great. Well. This is honestly better than if taking Jinx. Let's hope I paralyze it. That's pretty much all I can do. Critical hit. You outspeed Electabuzz? What? Oh my god. Come on, I, he needs to be paralyzed or we lose. Oh! Oh my god, I got the crit. Oh. That's it. I won by stupid crit luck. I should have lost that. That was garbage. All that setup just to win like that. Ooh, what'll what'll you do if my Pokemon's wings get damaged? Oh, poor baby. That wholesome stuff. Look at that. Now we unlocked Bugsy's gym. <laughs> wow. Celebrate with good posture and stretching. Heck yeah. Forget strategy. Luck is the answer. A lot of battles will come down to luck. It, with, with rentals in round two? Yeah. Round two is designed to be hard if you're using your own Pokemon from gold, silver, crystal. So with the rentals, it's basically borderline unfair. No, it's not borderline unfair. It just is unfair. Well, now we gotta go through the bug catcher Chaz, Min and Lin, and then Bugsy. Okay, it looks like the, some of the recommended Pokemon aren't too different from the stuff I, I would pick anyway before I check notes. Old Pokenex order. Hang on. Looks like we need Fero for Drill Pack, but remember, we have to keep in mind Pokemon to, um... Yeah, the rental Pokemon are bad, but the Electabuzz had 131 speed. Like, how the hell did a Charizard outspeed it? That's that's absurd. Must have dumped all its stats into that. Uh, sorry, where's Fero? 
be down here, right? Ah, oh, there it is. Vero's has got the same speed as Electabuzz. Real pack spam. And Hyper Beam's pretty good, Yellow Strat. We used this in the Elite Four in round one as well, didn't we? Hmm. Guess it really doesn't matter too much, does it? Okay, now what else do we want? Let's see here. Uh, there's not capped EVs, so it's broken in Gen 2. So basically, they can kind of just, like, put as, dump as much effort values into a Pokemon stat as the, they want to. I don't know what their stats actually are, though, if someone's broken up the game, but... It looks like we need high jump kick for a particular trainer here along the way. Zard isn't that much slower than Buzz, but still, the principle of it. Maybe this for confusion? I mean, yeah, my Pokemon... You, calling the rental Pokemon basic is giving them too much credit. Like, you know how, like, uh, you, you ever buy a Pokemon game from GameStop, and there's a bunch of, like, story playthrough Pokemon in the PC, and half of them know HM moves? Those Pokemon are better than the rental Pokemon in this game. That's how bad they are. Let me see now... Fire Blast, Sky Attack. Several moves that will always miss. That's what I love to see. Let's go for it. Sure. And in Gen 2... Let me see. Moves like Strength and Surf are usable. Surf is too good for many Pokemon in this game. Yep, it's time to bring out the Wobbuffet. So we'll take that. Steelix has that good resistance. Type in, anyway. It could probably wall a Scyther, for sure. Not sure this really matters. And... Oh, another defensive Pokemon. Yeah, this is another one I actually know is pretty good. Yeah, Dawn fans, for some reason, they gave it Earthquake, which is pretty generous. I mean, it's probably because it's slow as hell. And I guess I'll give it this. You guys ready? Let's do it. A shrew? You have a shrew on your team? It's green. I don't think that means it's a bug, though. Neither is Dunsparce. 3E, Flore, Drilly, Shrewy, Yen Mei, Arcee. An actual attack, that's right. Okay. Hmm. Looks like the third doesn't matter too much, does it? I suppose the other ones, like Hitmonlee, Steelix, and Dawnfan are kind of needed for a particular Pokemon later. We don't need Wobbuffet for here, so... Hope it doesn't come down to me needing to use Earthquake or anything. Moltres and Fero should be able to sweep, yeah. You guys ready for the Chaz? The Bug Catcher Chaz? Let's see how far we can get today. This is round two, part one. That's a long animation for frickin' Sunflora. The commands are made. Recording okay? Fire yeah, it's working fine now. Whoop. And first fire blast miss. Sludge bomb. You have sludge bomb. The do now? Okay. Hit. I guess that's something you can hit Watch Moltres with. I have to give you credit for that. Give it a boop. That sunflower got cooked. Ah, Flore. That tail will bring out a new Pokemon. Oh, it's Beedrill. 
buzz buzz. I sure do hope my Moltres can beat this Beedrill, said me apparently. He gets stab off this. Why is Sludge Bomb from Beedrill and Sunflora chipping away at freaking Moltres? That's what worries me. If I miss like one or two moves, Moltres is just dead, which is pretty stupid. We gotta learn how to sweep the grunts so we have multiple tries at Bugsy. Shrew! All that, and he brought up the Shrew. Look at that little baby. It's Shrewy. Shrewy needs a hug and some milk and cookies. There you go. You had nothing, Chaz. You're all washed up. I need to train them better. As is a bug catcher, has a sun flora. Continue. Look at the eyes of the one on the left. Is she okay? You'll be surprised at how strong we are. She's staring into my soul. What is this team? Bro, what? A bunch of unevolved Pokemon and Ledian? This is quite a bit of... I, I guess this is what we need Hitmonlee for, to sweep the normals with this. Pony Pony? You're right. Snub Snub. Pine Pine. Letty Letty. Green Arena. Is, is, the, is the sister blind? Maybe. Actually, yeah, Earthquake Sweep would be good, too, except for Ledian. Hmm. I guess, yeah, I could just bring in Pokemon that can sweep two each and then just switch to them when needed, correct? It really doesn't matter who I pick first, as long as I bring the coverage. So, Dawn Fan to Earthquake the Pony in Nidorina. Oh, wait, I just remembered something. The twins have a rule where they actually can't pick, um certain combination of Pokemon, which makes the Ledian space actually impossible for her to choose. If I remember correctly. I don't remember the specifics, but something like that. Moltres can use Fire Blast on the other third of the team, I guess. Let me see. And Hitmonlee can just kick the, the, the normal types in the middle. Should be okay. There's only one bug on this bug team. Don't let the fact that their children fool you. Overconfidence here could be disastrous. One of them's a serial killer. Eevee! Okay. I'm gonna go right to Hitmonlee. I'm assuming it should be safe here. Switching Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Hitmonlee! Hitmonlee sounds like a frog. Charm! It's using its charm. Ah, Pineco and Ledian are both bug types. Well, they're never gonna pick the Ledian, probably. Unless it's different rule in round two. Eevee just got kicked! Double edge. Why? That did a lot. Holy crap. Well, I hope this doesn't miss. This Eevee needs to get kicked. Badly. That's a buff Eevee. Okay. It's probably best I let, um, Hitmonlee just kind of go down. I need Mud Slap at first before I switch, actually. I don't know if it matters. What next? It appears to be Extendo and Legs. What move down. is it gonna go for? Body Slam. What will it do? Whoop. That miss. Whoop, sorry, you missed. A hot battle is unfolding. Mud Slap time. What not? Ah, that it only just grabs off. a bunch of dirt off the ground and extends his legs to just impact. throw it in your face. How's that? 
The white hot battle continues. Chat, I'm bullying. What this? It withstood that easily. The target is weak. Minus further. three. There's the attack. Oh my! <laughs> this again. Okay, I think it's safe to switch in the dawn fan now. More than safe, I hope. This Pokemon is switching out. The Pokeball opens to reveal. Time for Pokemon. popcorn. Heck yeah. What next? Oh, nice it hit. Pack. This is a stream where you should be watching what with popcorn or a snack. Y'all should have that. Outsped. What'll it do? That was a and now suddenly it's hitting me. Hang on, earthquake. There it goes. And a crit. Oh, it so does this mean the last one has to be Pineco if they follow the There's rule? Only one left to come up. Oh, yeah, it does. Down to the last is it gonna down. explode? It can't. It's the last the one. one. Well, let's get in there then. The fine, fine. Oh, the break day? No, not today. Ah, sweet scent. Sweet scent. I got streaming to do down. today. I can sleep tonight. Now blast it. Pine Pine is down. There are no more remaining <laughs> it just falls over dead. And there goes the battle. Oh no. Oh no. You, you know what's always a good sign? When I scroll down to the next trainer... And there's like five paragraphs of what could go wrong in the next battle. <laughs> That's always a great sign. Let's go. Gym battle leader. Ready? I'll show you how tough bug Pokemon can be. Okay. So a lot of things can go wrong here. No Scizor. Scyther fits him better anyway. Heracross is going to be spooky. Hmm. So it seems like to start, you go with like... I could just go with Drill Peck, but that's not going to work for um, Quagsire, Sudowoodo, and Raticate. Let me see here. So it seems like the Pokemon you want to roll with is Fero, Steelix, and Wobbuffet. Bugsy is likely to always... Sorry, likely to switch to something else at the first turn. And it's mo and most of the time it's Sudowoodo. What, what a weird rule he has. What a weird rule. They're 100% guaranteed to switch if they start with Heracross. What? <laughs> what? Why does Bugsy just have a bunch of weird AI quirks here? Well, it's, well, at least, yeah, you can take advantage of Fero's Toxic for that. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like I need to set up, set up carefully here. No special attackers, yeah. And there's a giant disclaimer down here that says if he starts with Quagsire, switch to Wobbuffet immediately and kill it with Counter and Mirror Coat. Oh, boy. And then... Okay, I see. Hmm. Well, then. Give it a try. Hold up, hit the wrong button. Try. is apparently has Earthquake. He started with Quagsire. 
not good to try and pick him off because I need Firo for other stuff. So we're going to go to Wobbuffet right away. Now he's probably not going to use Earthquake right now because he, I had Firo out. But... What's he doing? Ancient Power? Bro, he's got coverage. Don't get the boost. Okay. I think he does have special moves, but we should go for counter if it's most likely what he's going to hit with. Come on, let's do it. Okay, he went for the Earthquake and I used counter. We got him. We got him. Will this be enough to kill? Ah, not quite. Sparks are flying from both competitors. Great. Okay, I read him again. What's this? The hit lands right off. If you have Wobbuffet, every AI in the game is specifically programmed to mix up their physical and special moves, so you can't predict what they get. So you just have to keep flipping coins, basically. Why? This can't be happening. If I can live this hit, I can, um... Um... He's probably could kill me. Would he go for Fury Cutter, or would he go for Slash, which will probably crit? It's probably best I Destiny Bond. Oh, Hyper Beam, jeez. Live? No. He's gonna have to charge now, though. We got him. This is Gen 2, so he doesn't... He, he, he's charging this turn. He can't keep it on... That. Hang on. Steelix has Rock Throw. Okay. Do I go for the free Rock Throw, or do I try and just Drill Peck it? No, I think I need to use Steelix here, because Scyther can't do anything to Steelix. He's not allowed to switch on charge turns. I'm gonna go for it. It's Scyther. Oh, it's Steelix. I just hope the Rock Throw doesn't miss. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Sparks are flying from both teams. Ah, it can't move. Come on. Vicious attack. Drill the weakness. Oh, dude, that took him to half, exactly? I know I don't have stab on it anymore, but holy. Reversal! Well, the thing that didn't do much. Kill. Oh, you scum! One Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. I can't afford to miss, so I gotta go for the Sandstorm. No, it wasn't a Focus Band, he just did that. There it goes. This is not where you want to have Reversal happen. Oh, that was close. Full power Reversal. I hope the last one's not pseudo Widow. Because then I just set Fear up to take damage for no reason. And sir, I can just drill peck it. Um. Yeah, we should be fine. Steve likes to just add pockets. Yep, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh boy. Only one Send in the Fero. The, the Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. Just hit this the drill is pack. Hit it with the drill pack. Come on, let's go. Please kill. Critical hit. First try, Bugsy. Nice. No Why, this can't be happening. 
That's pretty wild. Another crit to finish him off. I give up. You're tough. I predicted the Wobbuffet perfectly. Making progress. And Whitney has two friends here. Well then. Looks like we've only been going for a bit, so we could still try this. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like a lot of the Pokemon here are stuff I'm used to seeing. Let's go ahead and pick them, though. Okay, old Pokedex order. Um, don't need Fero again. Looks like Zapdos. Yeah, Zapdos is usually a pretty safe bet. I guess Rock Smash could be good to finish off some of those uh, normal types. Maybe. There's nothing about what held items to run, though, because it doesn't really matter. Let's just do that. Mm. Oh, right! Hitmonlee can sweep with high jump kick. I totally forgot about that. If they have normal types, that is. Now, here's something interesting. Apparently, Dugong is recommended. Why? Waterfall and Aurora Beam? Pro it must be for a specific trainer at some point. Let's, uh, believe in that a little bit. What's the HP? 171. It's not bad. Um, I don't think we want to rest in Mint Berry, no. We wanted Sleep Talk. That's why we have that, so... Paralysis, I guess? And this is another one where we want to bring in Wobbuffet. Who's shocked by that? Who is shocked that we need Wobbuffet to live? Mmm, uh, Dawn Fan and its ridiculous defense and earthquake. Freezing for sleep. And six Pokemon does not matter at all, apparently. Should I take an emotional support, Teddy? Can even have a little treat so he doesn't get cold. Here we go. If you bring a bear along with you, it's good luck. Did you beat Bugsy? I don't really like bug Pokemon. Well, what are you telling me that for? Tell it to Bugsy, you jerk. Hey, Lois, remember that time I used a Doug Drio on a normal type team? Fluffette, Barret, Poriette, Corette, Pomette, and Trioette. All girls, except uh, except for Pori. Let me see here. Hmm. Okay, what do we need here? It looks like, yeah, Hitmonlee is a good use. Yeah, it could actually high jump kick everything, except really jump fluff. I guess that's fair. Dugong can use its Aurora Beam and Waterfall against some of these if needed, yeah. And I can Earthquake everything except Fluffet. Let's go for it. Next in line are the members of the Goldenrod Gym. The first Let's do it. The, gate is the, last lowest. the frog sound. Why is the normal gym, like, has the stained glass windows? Oh, wait, were the Fur and, and uh, Doug Trio guys? I didn't see that. Of course, they start with this. Great. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to go to Dugong. This looks more like a church than a normal type gym, that's what I mean. Hydrate and posture check? Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's Dugong! Headbutt. You what think you can flinch me, you jerk? A light hit. How will this newly switched out Pokemon fare? You tell him to chill out. Are you switching? Oh, you're solar beaming. Did you live that? How? How? I know it's Aurora Beam, but you're Jump Fluff. 
Oh yeah, rentals. My attack... I have the attack power that can't even break a piece of paper. I lived. And I gotcha. Fluffhead is down. Even in death, it looks too happy. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. Scary one is down. Oh, it's Corsola. Corsola. I love those. I guess I could try going for the rest. The oh look, I got it. <laughs> oh, a quick for once, I'm actually happy to see Dugong rest. Rock slide. A furious attack. Drill the weakness. A hot battle well, is on time to only. sleep, Doc. Okay. Oh. Oh, a quick I forgot Gen 2 rules. You can rest out of sleep talk for some reason. There's the shot. That has to hurt. Stalling. Sparks are flying from both huh? competitors. Why isn't Oh, I hit the wrong button, silly me. Thought I went to the battle screen. Wonder it wasn't working. Oh, come on. Oh, a quick snooze. You miss this? There it goes. No, Thank you. The white hot battle continues. Quick snooze. Okay, we gotta move. I can make you flinch with this. How's that? A light back. Another hilarious joke so I can tell myself. I'm alive. We're still here. Slowly but surely, we're winning. Maybe. Critical hit or flinch? I'll take both, please. Come on. Nope. Okay. Um, that was two waterfalls. I'm about to wake up now. So how about I just rest again? <laughs> Kind of disgusting. It woke up. Chat, is this oh, what it feels like to be the bad guy? What now? That is little damage. I'm kind of scum right They're now, aren't I? Tough. Roar beam. Rainbow Beam! Oh, that was weak. You think Aurora Beam tastes like candy? It looks very colorful like candy. Like an ice cream treat. Fast asleep. Rest! Oh! Cool. Oh, a quick snooze. Man, I'm getting a little sleepy. This would be a great time to spam Sleepy Teddy Ursa uh, emotes. <laughs> well, rest just reset, so let's Combat do it. Here's Waterfall. How's that? A light I'm almost it winning with this. Hang in there. A oh, Ooh, a so sorry you missed. The white hot battle continues. I actually won the matchup. <laughs> yes, it's a hit. There it is. It's you only the it. first battle, too. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, sorry. Am I peeking the microphone? Sometimes the I see it peek into the red when I laugh a little remains. too hard. I'm just a little oh, silly. This is the last Pokemon. Why didn't I pick Dugong before? Because Corsola is slower than Dugong, so normally Dugong's slower than everything. Getting beamed. Well, what's it gonna go for? I could set up a new rest if I outspeed it, but I'm not gonna. Slam? Slam? And he missed. That missed. It finally woke up. Finally? What are you talking about? Oh, a quick 
<laughs> Slam mo moments. You think there's someone out there who unironically thinks Slam is is just their their favorite Pokemon move ever is just Slam. There's got to be someone out there that believes in it. They probably have a lot of crushed crushed hopes and dreams, but. Waterfall. What's this? That did little damage. Little damage, they say. Like Slam does tough. more. What do I do? Ooh, no, so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh hey, arrested again. Oh, a quick snooze. How many sleep talks do I have left? I have none. I'm out. Chat, game over. <laughs> I actually ran out of PP for something in Stadium. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, there we go. This is a great battle. Pokemon misses over and over with Slam. While I just spam sleep talk go. rest. I still have full waterfall PP though, yeah. Because it uses sleep talks PP again. for the move. It still won't wake up. Did he miss that many in a row? The white hot battle Disgusting. I feel bad for her. What now? Oh, he oh, got me. It got me the old razzle dazzle. Critical hit. What's that? Imagine if they gave me Horn Drill, and I could Sleep Talk that, and it would hit. The, uh, the Gen 1 Stadium Rental has um, Horn Drill, but Dugong is literally too slow for it to ever hit anyone, So because of how the accuracy works for those moves. Let's go. Finish you off. Rest talk, horn drill, sheer cold. Uh oh! Wow. Now, boy, why you why you breaking that out all of a sudden? That tail will bring out a new Pokemon. I forgot I had other Pokemon on this team. Okay. I have enough defense to tank this, right? Damn well better. What an opportunity! We're the final act in this match. Just go for Earthquake, you'll be fine. Don't, don't, please, don't, please don't. That's it. Ooh, 69 damage. Hey, we both have 169 HP. Hang on, Earthquake. And now it's zero for you. There are no more remaining Pokemon. And we did it. Dawn Fan has few things, but defense is one of them. She looks so flustered. You didn't have to be so mean. Yes, I did. I had to utterly humili humiliate her with that dugong. That battle was like over 10 minutes long. Holy crap. Hi, you cute little trainer. How about a battle? Uh-oh. Growing up Cleffa spotted. Hmm. Lois didn't have to be mean to Bugsy. Del Delity. Able D. Toga D. Pika D. Azum. Uh, Azum D. Up D. DY is in, like, Lady, I guess. Hmm. So. High jump kick spam can be good. Zapdos can thunder half this team. That's also true. Uh, let me see here. And just Dawn Fan walls the Pikachu if it's a problem. I don't know if it's um hacking anything strong. I have to say, I don't know. Send in the bear. I don't think that's a good idea. The Teddy is there on the sidelines supporting everyone. He deserves a little day off to watch the battles. Hmm. 
Dawn Fan for Pivot. If I get stuck with Dawn Fan left over against Delibird or something, that would suck, but Hitmonlee and Zapdo should be able to take them. Let's do it. The next opponent is Rita, a real beauty. Yeah, I don't think the Let's Pikachu has the Surf. Fall under the spell of this Otherwise it wouldn't lady. it would list that, I think. Okay, chat, you see that Clefable? We gotta kick it. You know why? Because that Clefable's trying to steal cookies. It sees the Teddy Ursa and is trying to take him. A sharp attack. Oh, I missed. Well, that, missed. that is not good. Attract? Did you did the track? Now that's hey, not good. Oh my. Well, I guess we should switch to Zapdos and then back. They're ready to go. Get out of there, Hitmonlee. The Don't let their charms affect you. Oh, it's that Minimize? Uh-oh. Ah, it That's not good. How will this Pokemon switch affect the flow of battle? Crap. Do I stay in? It can't attract me. But I'm not going to be able to hit it with Hitmonlee anymore, will I? Just going to get another one. Do I just go for a raw thunder? Flash could miss now anyway. It's already at there 70 accuracy for some reason. Why does Flash have the accuracy of thunder, by the way? I'm just going to go for the thunder and hope I paralyze. Or the accuracy gets worse. Thank you. I got exact. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I almost had exactly what I wanted. You know what? I'm gonna keep using thunder. I hit it. I hit it. I actually hit it. Shadow ball. What? Shadow ball. I'm gonna go for the rock smash. Hit. What will it do? I missed. No, that didn't connect. What Thunder is performing better at reduced accuracy. Yes, it is. Right off. Let's do it. Bat. Get that Clefable. Take it down and make it cry. What now? I missed. Oh my, missed again. How's that? This is not good. A light hit. Pokemon Come on, please hit. Please hit. There's the attack. It didn't kill. To to and this is why I don't rely on Rock Smash half the damn time. Now we got a problem. That will bring Dawn out Fan's a girl, Pokemon. so I guess we could try and let Dawn Fan finish it off. Try it. Ready to go. Oh, it's Hang on a second. I have Sandstorm, right? Now's the time to attack. One yeah, Sandstorm you can't dodge. Let's just activate that. Tired. I knew you'd do that, you piece of crap. Ah, it raised its evasiveness. Sandstorm has started glowing. Sandstorm rages. I'm a genius. Sandstorm coming in clutch. That's right, get dizzy. Get out of here. Is this for real? Hell yeah, it is. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, it's a Zoomerit. Uh-oh. Well. Two Pokemon remain This is bad. Sparks are flying from both teams. I could need Dawn Fan for the last one, so I'm gonna switch right to Hitmonlee, I think. It all went downhill when I missed the high jump kick, yeah. I don't know if I would have one-shotted it, though. Clefable's kind of solid. I love the frog noise. What is it? Oh, it tried to attract! I didn't even pay attention to that. We're gonna kick that Easter egg. Kick the rabbit. Kick the rabbit. What's next? Yes, it's a hit! Got a hit. Whirlpool! Okay. What's this? 
the sandstorm damage, I just need to land one more. Whirlpool animation actually kind of goes hard. Sorry, Lorelei, but that bunny needs to go down. You're leaving. Don't leave the stream. Girl, I need to sit here and watch the stream all day long. Get ready to kick. Critical hit. Oh, and down it goes. Poor bunny. Poor bunny that evolves from a mouse. One Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Pikachu. I knew it, Pikachu. Let's just go for my high jump kick. Dawn fans got this. Unless it has surf, but I don't think it does. They're both hanging tough. Presents? What? Hey, it's a present. Pikachu can learn presents? A light hit. Is that like an egg move or what? High jump kick. A vicious hit. I kicked the Pikachu. The last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. We did it. That was pretty wild. That's good. That's the way to do it. Oh, you're telling me. And now, we get to Whitney. Luckily, she doesn't seem to have even half the notes as Bugsy. I am Whitney. Let's get this battle going. Oh, Lord, help me. Not just Miltank, Tauros, too. Golduck, for some reason. Mr. Mime. Or Mrs. Mime, as I can see there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you want to know what's really funny? When I glance at the notes here, it's the, the entire strategy for this fight is Wobbuffet. <laughs> Just use Wobbuffet and get rid of everything. That's the strat. And if something goes wrong, send in Hitmonlee to high jump kick or Zapdos the Thunder. So it's basically just prey. <laughs> Here's the thing. Apparently the Mr. Mime can set up and baton pass, but everything it can pass into is something that, Miss that Wobbuffet needs to take out. So there's no real point in trying to take it out or switch from what I understand. Because counter and mirror coat skip accuracy check. Hmm. So the, we need to let the mime, if it comes out first and sets up a ton pass or anything, um, we need to just take it out there. That's... Leffa also gets present as an egg move. Of course it does. Of course it does. <sighs> Apparently the mill tank only has physical moves. Hmm. Maybe I should look up her moves if I need to Wobbuffet so badly. That's right. Hang on. Um, let me just... Let me see here. Just put in Gym Leader Castle round two. I haven't been looking at the held items up to this point, so I probably should do that as well, because... Let me see here. Gym Leader Castle round two. The Bulbapedia page has all their items listed. I'm going to check this. You see here. Oh, don't tell me Bulbapedia is down. Okay, good. It's working. Let me see. Can't find the page. Why can't I find the page? You see here. Oh, here it is. I think. Stadium 2, round 2, round 2, round 2. Hold up. This isn't the round 2 page. Why is everything so messed up? Hang on. There we go. These old pages are so formatted badly. Apologies, everyone. I'm trying to find it. Okay, here's Whitney. Here's Whitney. Tauros has a focus band. Of course it does. 
Persian has Scope Lens. Miltank has King's Rock. Golduck has Bright Powder. Dawnfan has Quick Claw. And the Mr. Mime has a Miracle Berry. Wait, 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 what? Hold up. The Mr. Mime doesn't have Baton Pass at all. What? It has... Wait, wait, wait. The Mr. Mime has Takedown, Headbutt, Psychic, and Swift. Is this even right? Hold, hold up a second. The notes say to stop Mr. Mime from setting up, but this page says that Mr. Mime has no setup moves at all. What? I am so confused. Are these moves even right for Mr. Mime? I don't really have time to pull up a second source. Uh, the Golduck has Surf, Ice Beam, and Cross Chop. And Psychic. Surf, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Cross Chop, yeah. Well then, that's silly. Persian has Thunderbolt, so it can hit Mirror Coat. Tauros only has physical moves and Scary Face. Tauros' moves are Stomp, Earthquake, Iron Tail. This Mr. Mime doesn't sound right. Well then, I guess we're just gonna have to learn this the hard way. Let's go into it. My confidence is shaking. Okay, let's take Wobbuffet to start. Hmm. Monly. Zapdos. Are you ready, Teddies? I wanted to confirm what the Mr. Mime could do, and now I'm even more confused. Hold up. Recheck the Whitney page, and Mr. Mime should have Psychic, Meditate, or sorry, Meditate, and Baton Pass, and Double Team. So you're telling me that the Bulbapedia page is just wrong, then. Okay. So Dawnfan came out first. Dawnfan only has physical moves. So we're safe to counter it, I feel. Do it. Yeah, takedown and headbutt doesn't sound right for Mr. Mime. No, no, this is definitely the round two page I have open. This is round two for sure. Nice. Okay, this is good. This is good. I mean, it's Stadium 2. The page probably hasn't been up updated in, like, years. It's probably getting a bunch of traffic now because of the Switch Online. Ooh, this is good. This is good. I can only counter it. Okay. Can Mr. Mime even learn Takedown? No. Takedown from Gen 1, it can learn. Okay, interesting. I guess it's a TM in Gen 1. You're right. Whoops. That missed. Let's do it. Come on. Counter him. This isn't gonna kill, will it? I got my berry. I can do another counter for sure. Unless he switches, or she switches, I'm good. It's trying to mix it up to, to stop me, but there's no reason for me to press anything but counter. All that confusion looking things up, and... Ah, uh, we're good anyway. Hold up, counter cannot proc um, focus band, right? Right? Can it? I actually don't know. I, I, I think it can? It can? Okay. That did little damage. Don't activate. Please don't activate. I don't need to learn. Good. What? No. This is good. Unfortunately, I'm stupid slow, so I'm not going to be able to Destiny Bond, right? I can press it. Um, yeah, there's no reason for me to not Destiny Bond. Even if they counter, I, it's going to kill me, right? It's got Stomp, Reversal, Earthquake, and Milk Drink. It doesn't have Rollout. No, that's that's round one. Or rather, that's that's Whitney in uh, the actual games. This is Stadium, where they have coverage. A stab Stomp would absolutely kill me. 
at 50, I feel. It's not gonna go for reversal. Even if it did, that there'd be nothing to even counter there. And its other move, Earthquake, would kill too. I'm gonna just... If I somehow live this, I get the Destiny Bond and I'm safe. Okay. Wobbuffet is down. Okay. And now, we press high jump kick and we pray that this works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Oh, it's Pitbull Lee. Are you ready for the frog kicks? The number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. Let's do it. it Wait for Earthquake. Great At least I can't game. flinch on this. Come on. There's the shot. Nice. One more. Mm. The white hot battle continues. I can live this if they go for another earthquake. Will it go for milk drink though? That would be a problem if I uh, miss one. Okay, come on, we can do this. Just gotta hit this and we're good. Vicious attack. Hit that one good. Come on. Yes, we win. That's good. Good crap right there. There are no more remaining Pokemon. What? No. That's it. Stage clear. Amazing. The cow is gone. Wah, wah, you're so mean. Yes, I am. Chad, I'm such a bully today. Look at me go. Ecritique. And now we have Morty. Oh, I thought Morty had four. Ollie, Ty, and that. We're brazen through this. Okay, then. So here's what's interesting about this next one. Apparently, you only need four specific Pokemon. The other two of them don't matter at all. Uh, let's rush to the side if we want to make a strategy change. Let me see here. Some held items matter. Oh, this is the return of the Hound Hour. We had to do this in round one, I think, didn't we? Give it a try. I want to see how long the notes for Morty are. They're actually pretty short. Okay. Yeah, critique. Looks like we need that Hitmonlee again. I'm going to grab it. DC. Um, on these only good for that one part, so it doesn't really matter too much. Looks like we need the Kadabra again, probably to psychic things, except for that stupid Gengar that outspeeds me. I'll have to be careful about that. Where is? There it is. Hmm. So I'll give it the Paralysis Cure. This Faulkner, uh, sorry, Faulkner's the only one with the Legendary so far, you're right. He leads with that ridiculous Zapdos. Mmm, okay, and the two big ones that need specific held items for this to work. Zapdos. Really? Really, we need to... We need to prepare to randomly get frozen. And return to the super puppy. Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? There it is. The Hound Dower with Flamethrower and Crunch. Yeah. And for this one... Yeah, we don't want to get in Confused. This is probably to deal with the Gengar that goes with Confusion. So we don't need Wobbuffet this time. Let's trust that and go with it. I'm gonna take a Teddy. Give it a treat. And I'm gonna take Big Teddy for fun. Here we go. Hmm, I sense something in you. Ditto. Ditto. 
Gastium, Noctium, Weeponium, Didium, Kingium, and Quillium. Quillium. <laughs> what a name. Okay, this one seems easy enough to kind of sweep, right? Yeah, it really does. Uh, yeah, this should be okay. We can spam Psychic and Thunder Punch for half the team. Back up Pokemans if needed. Bring it, Holly. You got nothing. Yeah, we got this. Silly Quillfish. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for Psychic. Look at this arena. What's that noise? Get the storm starting. Oh, is she switching? Hang on, I wanna look out the window. It sounds like the storm is starting outside. No, it hasn't started snowing yet. The clouds have been, been out there. Well then, I guess we'll go for the Thunder Punch. What impact will this Pokemon Switch have on the battle? Let's see, it's probably gonna be a bit of a snow day tomorrow. I'm not heading to the gym because Dylan's still like injured there. We're not going together. And the roads are probably gonna be snowy as hell anyway. I don't wanna make the trip. Plus, I need to sleep in a little bit because I I was horribly sick last night and got no rest. Do it. Okay. Nice. Sorry, King Hoot is down. It's gonna snow for you tomorrow? That's good. Snow is nice and comfy. I love getting to sit indoors playing games while it snows or rains outside. It's peak coziness right there. Get yourself a nice blanket or a hoodie, a little mug of hot cocoa, and you are set. Maybe you're doing that right now while you watch this. Maybe I'm on your side monitor while you're grinding in an RPG. Maybe you're watching it this week or months into the future. Okay. Let's see here. Let's hit it with Psychic. Blast it with this. Will this do it? I'm on your second monitor while I do work. Excellent. Or while you do work. There are no more aye, aye, aye. And there no You're watching from the future? How are you managing that? We're doing pretty good so far. I don't want to go too long with this episode, though. Stadium, I can only take in small doses, like... I used to try and do, like, three-hour streams of this, but it's like, no, I can't. Like, I just get so burned out too much. Uh, continue. Who's the next guy I got? This next one is pathetically easy, says the notes. Oh. He's got Grimer and Muck? Well, then... Seems like I can Psychic everything except Jinx and Murkrow, but I can Thunder Punch Murkrow. Hmm. And then we- yeah, I can use Houndour for that. So, Kadabra, Houndour, and I suppose Zapdos is a fine backup too, yeah. If this one's really easy, it should, shouldn't be too bad to get back to Morty if we lose. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're fine. You're watching in the future on your PS6. There we go. Well, I guess you would be watching since there's no games on it. That's an easy joke. I don't even care. <laughs> I like my PS5, but I've actually recently moved to using my, um, my new PC mainly for playing games now because I like the fancy new monitor in my desk. Let me see. My console setup's a little too crowded right now because I don't have the space to make it as... I'm trying to, like, save up for, like, a new couch and stuff for the living room and get everything organized. As many of you know, though, I kind of had to spend a bunch of money to get the PC replaced, though. Do this. 
Let's do it. Bam psychic. A psychic blast. Oh, the muckage is down. Oh my. There you go. So, what will be the next Pokemon? This arena looks cool. Oh, it's Jinx! Okay. Houndour should be safe to switch in. Is she gonna go for mean look? I think that's their first turn strategy for everything, so if I switch. The Pokemon is I basically get the free Pokemon. switch, yeah. Oh, it's Houndour! The fluff. Yep, called it. How's that? Um, oh, no. what'll do that more damage? Pokemon Which has more power, flamethrower or crunch? They're both special in this game. 9500, 8100. Okay, flamethrower then. Let's do it. They're ready to go. Mud slap. Really? There's the attack. Ah, that attack just bounced off. Go, puppy, go. Is down. Come on, puppy. We believe in you. Chat believes in you. I believe in you. Oh, Damn it. Come on, little puppy. Why couldn't you do it? What not? It withstood that easily. All right. You know, chat. I seen a meme the other day. It was kind of funny. It was a meme. It showed someone at a doctor's oh, office, <laughs> and the um. And the doctor says something along the lines of, you're hearing voices in your heads, and the per and the person in the comic says, chat, can you believe this? <laughs> and now I'm just thinking about that while talking to chat. Are you all here? Or are you all fake? Am I talking to no one? You saw that meme? Yeah. Did it just try the dynamic punch me with Jinx? No wonder this guy's a joke. You're fake. Sorry, I'm fake. Come on. Why y'all gotta be fake? Just one Pokemon remains. Now this is absurd. Oh, it's Haunter! This is the last Pokemon! Sorry, we're all bots. Oh no! Hope that you're real? I'm starting to doubt it. I look down at my what hands, maybe I'm not real. Ah, that Pokemon can't make a getaway now. Now bite. Bite that ghost. That's it. What? Ugh, the mud slap got me. Both get ready to go. Oh, curse? Oh no, don't do that. That's a funny animation. He inflicted a chow on me. Uh-oh. The curse inflicts damage. Yes, it does. It does crunch. Double team. Oh, don't do this, bro. Don't, don't. I can't switch out. Oh! Missed again. The curse is working. The heated action continues. This is kind of bad. Like, actually, really, really bad. Ah! It raised its evasiveness. What about this? Oh no! So chat, we have, um, we have two options. Mm-hmm. So I guess we send out Kadabra, spam Psychic, and hope that it hits once, or we send out Zapdos and spam Thunder and hope that it hits once. Have fun! It had mean look, couldn't switch into Kadabra. Or out of curse. Well, I guess it can only curse me once, that's true. I can't do anything. Oh my. Okay, Morty, let's see what you got. It is not that puppy's day. Win, lose. My training is insufficient. Bing bong, neat. Look at that. Continue. You can bear witness to the fruits of my training. 
Where's bears? You have one ghost, Morty. Sorry, two. Sorry, I missed the Gengar. To be fair, that is all the ghosts that are available in this generation, so I cannot be mad about that whatsoever. I literally have no leg to stand on when I talk about him not having ghosts, because he has to have enough Pokemon. At least he actually has, Mistrevis. Okay. So what's the plan here? Uh, we got Zapdos for his two water types. The Houndour is basically here to crunch. Or sorry, Crunch Gengar, Flamethrower, Exeggutor. What about... Mistrevis, I don't want to send Houndour out against because it has fancy annoying stuff. Maybe I should check its moves. This is the important fight. What's he got? Gengar has King's Rock and so much special coverage. It's got Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Fire Punch. The Exeggutor has Quick Claw and Psychic. Oh, that's a little bit scary. Mistrevis has Focus Band, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Confuse Ray. I don't like that. And the Mantine has Bright Powder, so hitting that with Thunder is gonna suck. Oh dear. Both the Mantine and Lapras have Surf and Ice Beam. And the Lapras has Thunderbolt to boot. Uh, Grand Bull's just got Scope Lens, Takedown, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, stuff like that. There's no Parasong on the Lapras, no. Even Mistrevis doesn't have Parasong. Well then, this is a little bit annoying, huh? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So here's a strategy I like to hear, right? So... Apparently an idea is to start with Hitmonlee, because if something comes out first that's not a ghost type, it's gonna try and switch to Gengar and Mistrevis to take the hit, right? So if I start with Hitmonlee, and I, I can essentially get a free Mud Slap, but this won't work if Mantine is the lead, obviously. Or maybe it will. You think it would try and switch out of Mantine? No, it wouldn't. It has a flying move, right? Hang on. Yeah, it has Wing Attack. There's no reason for it to switch. It would just do that. Okay, then. Still, if I could set Gengar up on switching with a Mud Slap, that would be very handy. Ugh. This is one of those battles that's gonna be risky, for no matter what I do, yeah. Hi, Mina, how you doing? I haven't bullied any Clefas today, don't worry. Hold up. Okay, we'll take Hitmonlee. You and... The Houndour is essential here, if we can make this work. Kadabra's not gonna help in this fight, sadly. Kadabra, like, got pretty walled... Oh, eh, got walled a lot in round one, Morty, as well. Oh no, you got sick again? I'm sorry to hear that. It probably wouldn't switch out from Exeggutor. Oh, you're totally right. Let's try this. Okay, then. Mm. Let's see here. No, no, it's mainly if Granbull comes out first, yeah. Okay, if that's the case... Hang on, what is it gonna go for? What is this gonna go for? It's absolutely gonna go for Psychic. So it's a safe to switch in Houndour, I feel. There's another reason to start with Hitmonlee. You can bait this and get a setup. Switching Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Houndour. Go, puppy, go. Oh, you're no, it it switched out of Hitmonlee. Oh, it's Gengar. Well then. How will this newly switched out Pokemon fare? It has. I have the berry to block confusion. So at this point, the only move that Gengar can really hit me with is is Thunderbolt and Confuse Ray, because Fire Punch is uh, resisted and Psychic does not affect me. I guess we gotta go for it. Is Dylan not streaming today? I haven't heard much from him. Yep, here it comes. This is what we got the berry for. Oh, it's Sunday. I honestly haven't been able to keep track of the days of the week. Ever since, like, I had to get all the PC stuff dealt with. Okay. 
He's gonna go for another Confuse Ray. I gotta get through it once. We, we got one free turn with that berry. That's so-so. Come on, just hit once. That's all you need to do. Hit once. Yes. And that was a crit. His ace is down. This is very good. This is fantastic, actually. <laughs> we get a flop over. What Pokemon will appear next? And we know he has Executor, but what else? Oh, it's Granbull. Granbull. Um, Granbull's probably gonna go for what Takedown. I need to save Houndour for um Executor, so it's probably best to just go into Hitmonlee. Um. Zapdos can't do anything against that as well, though, right? They're eyeing each other warily. I think maybe I should send in Zapdos first and spam Thunder, because I don't want Hitmonlee taking a stab takedown. And because Zapdos can't do a thing to Exeggutor except spam Thunder anyway, so. The important thing is to save Houndour for Exeggutor, so we'll do that. Rock Smash. Why do you all think Rock Smash is gonna kill it? It's Zapdos! And Rock Smash has no power! That doesn't work! He went Sludge Bomb. I just need to do it 15 or 16 times. Oh, whoopee! Rock Smash with power of 20 is gonna take out Granbull from full health. Yeah, that's, the, that's gonna work. Spam Thunder. There we go. One more Stab Thunder and we got him. Oh, that's a crit. Damn. Can't even destroy rocks in this game. Send in the Hitmonlee. Pokemon. Send in the Hitmonlee. The Pokeball opens to reveal its Pokemon. I couldn't even kill a Clefable at red with Rock Smash, yeah. Yeah, we just gotta hit one of these and we're good. Ooh, its jaw was not okay there. Arg. One left. Um, I think what I should do is I should hit it with Mud Slap before it goes down. Before I go down. He's giving an accuracy drop in case that matters. Mega Kick's not gonna kill it. It has double edge to hit. Um. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? He just used Double Edge on Hitmonlee when he knows Psychic. He knows I have Houndour. He th he's trying to read the switch. He's trying to read the switch. He's actually big brain in me. But it won't work. <sighs> That's actually pretty weird. I didn't think they'd be smart enough for that. 5D chess. I'm actually kind of shocked. Like, there's no other explanation for why it's using that. It's not like it's choice locked. Executor literally knows Psychic and he ain't going for it. He's still- he's still not gonna use it. He's going. He's going! Stats are in tatters, they say. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. Mud Slap RNG is working for me. Yes, it is. It's gonna keep hitting him with more of these. Well, I guess it's the last one, ain't it? It is Quick Claw, so it is getting Quick Claw uses out of it. Yeah, I guess now I'll make a kick. Oh, there it is. Quick Claw. This puppy should be more than strong enough to take him out now, I hope. Oh. 
We could still lose this. We're not out of the woods yet, everybody. Everybody give the puppy head pats so we can do this. Go for the flames. Go for the flames. Yes! Burn that tree down, puppy. Oh, we did it. Teddy's win yet again. Teddy's haven't been chosen yet, but still. And that was something. We did it, Morty. That's how to do it. I look forward to seeing you become even stronger. Round two, clear. We made it to Chuck, everyone. Buildings open up as it progresses, yeah. So Chuck only has these two guys. Now, if I remember, uh, Black Belt Nick has the Oko strats, correct? Does he still do that? Let's find out. Um, yes, his Pokemon have Fissure, Fissure, Guillotine, Horn Drill, Fissure, Guillotine. Well then, he's gonna be easy. Gonna be pretty easy then. Hmm. Guess we could go ahead for this. Oh wow! Apparently this this one is so simple that there's only three Pokemon you use at all times. It doesn't matter who you pick for the half the team. Let's go for it. The double edge spam kind of ruined him, yeah. So Dawn Fan, Kadabra, and Zapdos are the big ones. Of course, we're taking the Kadabra into this, but it seems like berries don't really matter. Um... Maybe I should give you the berry for confusion in case dynamic punch happens? I don't know. It doesn't seem like items are a big deal here. I guess I'll give you the berry. Dawn fan... Take it for a burn. The other three don't matter, so I'm just gonna take a Smeargle, a Teddy, and an Ursa. Hmm. Could beat all eight gyms. I don't think that's happening today, no. I think in a little bit. Um, maybe I'll take a break and I'll switch games. I kinda wanted to play more of the Pikmin mod. Hey, what's he got? So, mainly, we want to go... Hmm. Middle Evolutions. Dabra, Zapdos, and Dawn. Hmm, okay. It is kind of down to luck if the Oko moves kill me. If it happens, it happens, you know what I mean? Okay, good. I wanted to take a quick peek. The Pikmin mod processed properly. I was worried about getting another copyright thing. I make that episode live when I go on break, actually. Stream some more after. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's maybe just do this one gym. Oh, I forgot about the foot arch back there. News on Rune Factory 3. Um... It seems like the company that's pretending they own the the soundtrack are just sitting on it. So I'm just gonna try and re-upload it over and over until they piss off. Well then, starting with Graveler, that's great. I guess we'll just go right to Dawn Fan and Earthquake it. This is the Oga uh, the Oko guy, so if we lose, we lose. Oh, we can just retry, right? If they put this guy in the middle of a gym leader gauntlet, that would suck, but he's literally the first guy, so it doesn't matter. He's not going for it. Probably because he doesn't think he needs to against Kadabra. So we'll go ahead and Earthquake. Super effective. Not enough to kill, though. Come on, work. <laughs> <laughs> that's, his, that's what he says for that. No, that Travel. He uses an Oko move, and he's just like, come on, work, please. Come on, man. Let's work. Chat, do you think he's going to outskill me? 
Or am I gonna outskill him? Wow. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. Oh, it's Pinsir! Pinsir's gonna go for Guillotine. Should I even bother switching, I wonder? Mm. There's no real best answer for Pinsir. They're eyeing each other warily. It's just spam an earthquake. Okay. He's just Sir. It's also a girl. There's the attack. Ah, that didn't do much. Didn't do much, no. I think maybe I'll hit a sandstorm. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Wow! Oh my! Missed again! As soon as I switch to Kadabra, you know you know I'm gonna get hit by it. You know I am. Dawn Fan was mostly needed for the Graveler anyway, so I don't need to preserve it anymore. Let's do it. Yeah, Sheer Cold's a Gen 3 move. It's not in this game. So sorry. Not very effective. Damn, 20 damage on that. Rip and tear. Rest? Oh, you piece oh, of crap. Really? Okay, now I can switch. What's this? Oh, that was weak. This scouring sandstorm hurt. Sending Kadabra and we'll just hit it with Psychic. The sandstorm damage on Kadabra won't matter because they're going to go for Oko's. Maybe. The Pokémon emerges from its Pokéball! Fast asleep. He's trying to sleep talk guillotine? <laughs> wow! That's pretty... pretty funny. That's what you gotta do with Pinsir. I hope this Psychic makes you bleed. That's how much I don't like you. The shot. Good day, sir. Hit, good. Sandstorm's got gotcha. you. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Whoa. Oh, that hit just the right spot. Yes, yeah, you, they dared. What Pokemon will appear well then. Hey, you know, maybe I could kill it with Rock Smash. I guess I'll send Dawnfan back in. This is back Does the Sandstorm back. still activate this round, or what? what oh, it ended. Is it gonna rest out of rest, though? Please don't. Please don't. I didn't think about that. Don't you dare. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh! Never mind, it's stupid. Ugh. Spooky teeth on its face. Only one, one left. left to come up. Oh, it's Machoke. Machoke? Machoke's Pokemon. got Fissure. It's absolutely gonna Pokemon go for Fissure on Machoke, one. yeah. The tenth battle continues. Come on, work. Don't. No, you hit one. That's all you get. That's all you get. He miscounted his rest. No guard, Fissure. No, I'm pretty sure that's very illegal. <laughs> you can't pull that one off, right? Come on, work. Isn't that like a thing where if you try and transfer a Fissure, uh, a Fissure Machoke from Gen 1, it'll always have like its hidden ability instead of no guard? Well, let's finish it. Oh! Great. Oh, a quick snoo. I think I know what it's gonna do next. Gen 1 transfers always get their hidden, yeah. Okay. Hit, that was good. 
It had a mint berry. Great. I'm gonna keep resting. Running out of earthquakes. Stop. Don't. No. 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 No! This Bella is pissing me off. We should have been able to sweep this a lot faster. Zapdos can't be hit by Fissure, at least. Yeah, we're safe. He has to actually play normal. That's what you deserve. The last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. Okay, Teddies, we've seemed to have succeeded. Lose. Win. Oh, how humiliating. Yeah, how humiliating. You thought you were gonna win with Fissure. And Guillotine. Bro showed up to the tournament with an Exodia deck. Hoping to win that turn one opening hand on every fight. You got an Ursa? Chuck, you have two fighting types. Why do you have Ampharos, Sand Slash, and Hypno and Ursa? Probably for coverage, of course. This is probably, yeah, this is where Crystal Kaizo gets their teams. Okay, Hitmonchan's the wor one of the worst fighting types you could have chosen. Oh, the same with Polyrath, let's be real. At least he loves bears. We love bears, too. The teddies are waving to each other. So, let's see. Kadabra can Psychic, the Hitmonchan, and Polyrath. That's always true. Um, Dawnfan can Earthquake the Ampharos. And I guess in a matchup... Dawn Fan has the higher physical defense. Yeah, that is also true. Zapdos is there. And I guess if Hypno comes out, Zapdos and Dawn Fan have to deal with it because Kadabra can't. Okay, then. That's true. Chuck's Pokemon, hang on. What do they have for items? Ursaring has Quick Claw. Polyrath has a Mint Berry and Rest. Oh. It has Rest, Sleep Talk, Belly Drum, Dynamic Punch. Everyone on the team has Dynamic Punch, so I could just lose to stupid RNG. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah. Hypno has a Paralyzed Cure Berry. Damn, I can't even Thunder Punch that thing. Um, Ampharos has a Bitter Berry. Sand Slash has Scope Lens. Also Dynamic Punch. I didn't know Sand Slash could learn that. Hitmonchan has a King's Rock. Mock Punch, Pursuit, Mega Punch, and Dynamic Punch. Man, every Hitmonchan set is just filled with disappointment. I guess we're good to go with these Pokemon then, aren't we? Let's do it. The challenger faces Fianwood Jim Chuck. Let's hope the challenger doesn't Let's do it. Dynamic punch is a TM. You get it for beating Chuck. So we should be okay. He's probably gonna... It, would he belly drum first or dynamic punch me? Either way, I should be okay to just spam psychic. Find out. Give him a boop. Give him a bop. And watch him drop. Oh my god. The move didn't quite work. Oh my goodness. That's humiliating. That's humiliating. The watch, look at him. A psychic blast. Yes, a hit. Chuck's signature Pokemon. What? How? That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. Okay, Sand Slash is here. Sand Slash's moves are Earthquake, Metal Claw, Rock Slide. Dawn Fan walls him for sure. So we want to do that. Because Kadabra cannot take a physical hit to save its life, literally. There it 
goes. Oh wow, we actually have a lot of people here for this. I didn't realize that. Hello, viewers. Oh, did it crit me? Oh no. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Now I don't have it. I I pretty much lost the battle, didn't I? That's the scope lens kicking in, yeah. Damn. Okay. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. Well, I hope I get a critical psychic then. Reflect is not gonna save me. Oh man, couldn't even take down half. Oh, what's this? A heavy hit. Yep. It with only and I can't hit. even I can't even hit it with anything but rock smash now. Oh, this sucks. That should have been so oh, safe. This is the last Pokemon. One okay. Pokemon faces two now. Well, now we hope I hit it with a bunch of critical rock smashes. What will it do? That did six damage. Oh, that's bad. And he gets a crit. Dude, that sand slash swept me. That was unfortunate. That's it. I win. I enjoyed that. Okay. I wonder if I could replace anybody on this team. Like, do I really need Zapdos for this fight? Because Kadabra takes Poliwhirl just fine. But, um... Hypno... I wonder if I could just replace Zapdos with Fero and just spam Drill Peck or something? Because that would be kind of better in some things. But then the Rock Slide would be an issue. <sighs> Not sure, actually. Honestly, the Wobbuffet probably would have worked better for that fight. Because if he has Sand Slash... Yeah, I think maybe I should take Wobbuffet instead of Zapdos into Chuck's fight. Yeah, I'm gonna change this. Because that was unfortunate. That Sand Slash is a bit of a menace because of the buffed crit rate. Uh, let me go down to it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Gave the barony away already. It's fine. Okay, let's go into it. Guaranteed counter. Hitmonchan's only special move is pursuit, but that's not gonna damage anyway, so I could just I could just spam counter over and over. Okay, now we're back to this guy. Uh, who did I lead with before? Right, it's Kadabra, Dose, and Dawn Fan. Yeah, these three are fine. Obviously, we can't Wobbuffet the Oko. The challenger has made it to the CN Wood Gym. Polyrath isn't really a big deal. Black belt. Especially if he leads with it and goes for Belly Drum. Not to mention, the only thing Polyrath can attack with is Dynamic Punch, so if a Belly Drum buff itself, it's still a coin flip. I don't think Bell- I don't think, uh, Destiny Bond in the Oko is gonna be a very fun strategy to do. Now let's just sweep a Psychic. A furious attack. Great hit. Got blasted. Dragon Breath, annoying. What will the other side do? Hit, I think it didn't down. paralyze me. You think green fire oh, just, like, burns, but with, like, a little bit of a mint smell and flavor to it? I don't know. What's the difference with the green fire? Yes, oh, come on, man. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's right. Whoops, that 
than I thought. There it goes. Last. That's a hit. There it is. Knockout. Wow. I'm starting to realize how late it is right now. Maybe I'll just do a short stream tomorrow. Is it gonna be snowed in anyway, right? I don't know if I want to do three hours and and stay up late just to stream. You see here. Super effective. Maybe instead of doing a long stream today. Damn it. I'll just do a short one of this, and tomorrow I'll do a short one of maybe more Pikmin mod. Alright then, let's send in Zapdos. It's gonna go for Guillotine. Glur. It's just called Glur. Go for the Thunder. It's Reston. That won't help it. You have no special defense. Getting sleepy. Yeah, I remember, like, um, a couple weeks ago, I was doing, like, several seven, eight-hour streams in a row, and by the end of that week, I was like, why did I do that? I feel like crap. I wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff recorded, because, like, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> so I tried to do everything at once. Um, it can't use Fissure on me, so I'm pretty much safe to spam Thunder. You just have a rock slide or anything? I don't know. Don't worry. I don't really have anything to do tomorrow is the issue. Can't head up to the gym. Roads are probably going to be a, too much of a mess to do anything. Yeah. Okay. Choke fainted. He's just called Choke. Now watch, as soon as I don't take Zapdos into this fight, I'm gonna need it. Why? Why? 30%. Keep going. Round two, CN Wood Gym Battle Leader. You wanna challenge me? Are you brave or just ignorant? Okay. What does the Ursa Ring have? Does it have a way to stop me? Ursa Ring has... Uh-oh. It has Crunch, so it has a special option to mix up against Wobbuffet. We're gonna go Kadabra, Wobbuffet. Wait, what does Dawnfan even do in this fight? Nothing, really, now that I think about it. Maybe I should take in Zapdos. No, no, that's not true. Actually, Dawnfan is is good for uh, Ampharos. And maybe also the Hypno, that's true? But what can Zapdos do? It gets walled by the Sand Slash if that comes out. It just has good stab damage if Thunder hits. I'll take Dawnfan. We can always retry if it goes badly. Let's try. The challenger faces Fianwood Jim Chuck. He led with Hitmonchan. Absolutely free. A Die. Now, Critical now, hit. Ooh. Send out Polyrap next. You know you want to, Mr. Chuck. You know you wanna. You know you want it. Come on. Ursa. Okay, so Ursa Ring has Crunch, Slash, Earthquake, Dynamic Punch. It's probably gonna prioritize using Crunch because super effective. So maybe I should, um, would Dawnfan be okay to switch in for this? I don't know if I want to go Wobbuffet right now. Because it's not like he'd be able to do much if he goes for a stab moves. Ursa Ring's special is garbage, yeah, but do you think I could two-shot him with Psychic? I'm not so confident about that at 186 HP. 
round two Pokemon, so they have good stats and EVs, or stat experience, whatever the hell you want to call it. The trainer hasn't issued a command. Alternatively, I could just go into Wobbuffet, easily tank an, tank an attack there. Hmm. You know what, I'm going Wobbuffet. They're ready to go. Let me see. To its oh, it's Hit me for a little bit. You won't do a lot of damage. It went slash. How's that? Yes, it of course hit. it went slash. How will this newly switched out Pokemon fare? Okay, let's go for the read. It went crunch, damn you! Ah. <clears throat> Fine then, I'll Destiny Bond next turn. Awesome counter! Oh, that's a miss. A hot battle is unfolding. Should be able to live another attack. Yeah, he went crunch. What's this? It withstood that easily. Come on, bro. Come on, hit me. Hit me. I'm taking this bear with me. There's a big HP difference between the two combatants. Is he switching? The He's freaking switching. switching Exactly. He's not going to be able to kill me. He's going to belly drum set up. Oh my god. <sighs> Either way, I can outspeed and finish it off with Kadabra, so it doesn't matter. It's Mother Chucker, yeah. Go on, hit me. Hit me. Come on, hit me. The heated action continues. <laughs> oh, a quick snooze. Now it's gonna sleep talk dynamic punch, ain't it? it, corrected its status Mint Berry. Just one hit me, would you? Still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. Dynamic punch. You whiffed. Oops, that missed. Come on, you coward. I'm out of Destiny Bonds. Well, better safeguard now. I hope this hits me. <laughs> I held out, and I got it. Okay, all we got left is Ursa Ring. Should be good to spam Earthquake with Dawn Fan and then finish it off with Psychic if needed. Oh my, this is one wild situation. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. This is the last Pokemon. chat, I take no pleasure in taking out the Teddy, but the Teddy is in the way. It is the boss. We gotta take down the bear. Bears may be friends, but not today they're not. The commands are made. What's this? You whiffed. Oh, that's a miss. There it goes. Get beamed. Yes, it's a hit. Okay, three shot him. Sparks are flying from both competitors. This particular bear is not a friend. What's that? Oh, he hit. That was a glancing blow. First ring's got a heavy punch, doesn't it? <laughs> got the earthquake. Vicious attack. Either way, Kadabra can easily- Oh, hang on. Ursaring has Quick Claw. It's possible Kadabra could come out and, um, get killed by a Quick Claw Slash. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would really suck. Oh, please don't get confused. Go. Don't Slash. What not? A light hit. Just gotta hit, the, hit one more Earthquake. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Yes, we win. Teddies win, everybody. Or, er, wait, no. Teddies are defeated this time. Exciting. That's five gyms done for the first round two episode. Not bad. I think taking in Wobbuffet was a better idea than Zapdos. You're strong. Would you please make me your apprentice? 
Jasmine is by herself, so next time we come back, we can, um, just kind of, like, bang our head against a wall until we beat her. Bryce has four people total, right? Three people, and then him. And then there's the Team Rocket Bunch, which is probably gonna wall me for a bit, let's be real. Ooh, Chuck is scary with a teddy. Slowly turns nighttime as you move back there, yeah. Yay. That's pretty good progress right there, wasn't it? Oof, I gotta stretch a tiny bit here. Okay, everybody. I had a pretty fun time with that. Fun little short stream today. Because, uh, I still wanted to stream because I was feeling sick last night. But I had a good time. It was nice to get some more stadium recorded. A little bit behind on uploads because of that copyright issue with the Rune Factory VOD. But, should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'll probably do a short stream tomorrow because I'm not gonna have anything else to do. Again, sorry for starting so late. But I should get some dinner, be responsible, and go to bed early. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, this is Worth Stocks. Have a good night. Look forward to more. Bye-bye.